The repeating fast radio burst source 121102 is a mysterious cosmic radio burst source which we've been able to localize to a dwarf galaxy at about 3 billion light years from Earth. We think that the source that's producing the, the radio burst is a neutron star, um, but we haven't been able to figure out really what kind of environment it's in. What we've recently discovered is that the bursts themselves have a high polarization fraction. This means that the electric field associated with the radio waves has a preferred direction. And what we've seen is that that direction is extremely rotated as a function of radio frequency. This tells us that the, the source of the burst is located in a very extreme, highly ionized, high magnetic field environment. And one of the options is that this neutron star producing the burst is in the vicinity of a very massive black hole, or one of the other hypotheses that we have is that the neutron star is in a very powerful nebula uh, associated with the source. In order to observe these radio bursts, we have to set our telescopes up in a similar way that we have it set up here, where we're looking at frequency and time. For the telescope, that's radio frequencies and radio waves. But for this, we have sound waves. So as you can see, short bursts, like the radio burst, take up a lot of frequency and they occur at one point in time. Every time we observe the FRB at different frequencies, we found more and more surprises. Therefore, at the Arecibo Telescope, we developed a system so we could observe at higher frequencies. These higher frequency observations permitted us to discover a new property of the burst, which is a twist in the radiation from the source, which occurs when the radio waves cross very a magnetic field. So we think there are two possible astrophysical pictures that fit the evidence. One is we may have a neutron star near a massive black hole. The other possibility is a very young neutron star, perhaps a magnetar, sitting inside an energetic supernova remnant. The next steps in our analysis will be focused on trying to understand if there's a pattern to the arrival times of the bursts. For example, is there a periodicity that we can find within the, um, the arrival times of the bursts, which would suggest the rotation period of a neutron star.